Hi there, welcome to another video for Junior Start Higher Level Maths. We're going to be continuing with statistics and we're going to be looking at averages now. So averages are a number value that summarize the data. So if we all go into a shop and spend some money, you can imagine that if we took the average of what we all spent, that would be a good piece of information to have to tell us about how much people usually spend inside the shop. And it gives us information about the center of the data. So averages look at the middle values. And there are three types that we need to know about. The first one is the mode. So the mode is the value that appears most often in a data set. An example here is I have the data set 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 6, 7. So you can see that the number that appears most often in the data is the number 2. So we say that the mode is 2. It appears three times, but the value is 2. And a data set can have more than one mode. So it could have two or three numbers that appear the same amount of times. So they would all be modes. If it has only one mode, we say that it is unimodal, like a unibike or a unicycle. And if it's two modes, we say it's bimodal, like a bicycle. Or if it has more than two modes, so three or more, we say that it's multimodal. So there's lots of numbers that appear the same amount of times. And the mode might be a number that it just appears once. So let's say if we're counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, they're all modes because they all appear once. So there's no number that appears more than another one. The median is a second type of average. So the median, in order to be used, first you have to do what's called ranking the data, which means you need to order it from smallest to biggest. And that's very important. You need to rank it first because we're looking to try and find the middle value. So you need to order it first. And the median is the value that's in the middle. So if there are two middle values, then we'll get the average of the two, but we'll look at that in a second. So the first example, I have the data 19, 31, 21, 3, 6, 14, 19. Well, I have to rank the data. So it's going to be 3, then 6, then 14, we have two 19s, a 21, and a 31. So now it's ranked in order. And to find the middle value, I'm going to cross off the first value and the last value. And I'm going to work my way into the middle. So I cross off the second and the second last, the third and the third last. And that value there in the middle, we call the median. So the middle value of that data set is 19. The median is 19. And in that piece then, in like light green that I said, if there was two middle values, you have to get the average of them. So let's have a look at how we do that. In this data set, it's 2, 64, 81, 68, 95, 57. Again, we have to rank the data before we can do anything with it. So it's going to start with 2, then 57. 64, 68, 81, and 95. So you want to be careful there that you have all of them included and that you have them in the right order. So it's worth counting how many you started with and how many you end up with. And let's start working our way in towards the middle. Cross off the first, cross off the last. Second, second last. And now I have two values left in the middle. So what I need to do is I need to get the average of those two values. So I go 64 plus 68 divided by 2, that'll give me 66. So the median value is 66. Note how 66 isn't actually a value from the data set, but that's okay. The median is a figure that represents the middle of the data. So 66 will be the median. And the last type of average is the one you should be most familiar with. It's called the mean. Just you wouldn't call it the mean normally. You would have been calling it the average. And how you find the mean is you add all the numbers up together and then you divide by ho however many numbers you had to add. So it's, very important, it's a very important average as it uses all the values in the data set. So everything is included. Whereas with the median, you were only interested in the middle values. And with the mode, you were only interested in 
one value that appeared the most. So the mean, it takes into account all the different values, so it's quite useful and quite powerful that way. In five maths tests, John scored 48, 64, 73, 62, and 80. Calculate his mean result. So we'll add them all up together. And then we will divide by however many numbers we're adding. So we're adding together one, two, three, four, five. We're adding together five numbers. That goes into the calculator and we get 327 over five, which works out to be 65.4. So the average or the, the mean, I should be saying, the mean value for that data set of John's test scores is 65.4. A second example then, where they tell us the mean, that the mean of four numbers is seven. When a fifth number is added, the mean of the five numbers is nine. Find the fifth number. Okay, so mean of four numbers equals seven. So how we found the mean was we added up all the numbers and we divided by however many numbers there were. So we could say that the sum of all the numbers the sum of those four numbers will be 7 times 4. It's going to be 28. So when you added up all those numbers together, you would have got 28. Because then they divided by 4, which gave them 7. So we're doing the opposite of dividing by 4. We're multiplying by 4. The second piece of information they give us is that the sum of the mean of five numbers is 9. So then we can say that the sum of the five numbers is 9 times 5, which is 45. And then if we compare them, we can say that the fifth number must be 45 take away 28, 17. The fifth number has to be 17 because that changed the mean of the numbers from 7 to 9. The effect that extreme values have are outliers. So we met outliers yesterday. So the effect that they have on the different averages. It'll have a very large impact on the mean because the mean uses all the values in the data set. And it will have no or little impact on the median or the mode because they are only interested in the values in the middle. So an extreme value won't have a massive impact on the mean or the mode. If we look at this example, we've got the mean in purple of those five numbers and it works out to be 20.8. In the blue example, we took the same five numbers and then we added on an extra one, we added in 100. So the same numbers, but we've added in 100 and 100 is much larger than all the other values. So that's called an outlier because it doesn't really fit with the rest of them. And that's after changing the average from 20.8 up to 34 which is quite a big change in the average. And if you look at that, if 34 is the average of the blue numbers, that's actually larger than all of the numbers in the data set except 100. So that's not a very good average because there's only one figure greater than 34 and there's four of them less than 34. So outliers have a very big effect. You need to watch out for them if they're in your data that might be a reason why it could throw off your statistic. And deciding which one to use then. Well, the mode is the most useful if you have categorical data, so like words. So if you're collecting a survey and it's like, you know, what's the most common hair color, the mode is a good one to pick out. It's not very useful when data has lots of modes. So like we were saying previously, where if you have one, two, three, four, five, six, they're all the mode because they all disappear once. So that doesn't really tell us anything about the center of the data or what number is, you know, it's centered around. The median is useful when you're looking for the average price, height, age, kind of something like that. Something that's going to be in the middle. So it's not affected by outliers. So if you have someone that's very, very tall or if someone that's very, very small, that's the median isn't going to account for that. So you will get a good idea of where the middle height is. 
and then the mean is quite useful if you're looking for a typical value so like we said earlier if you're going into the shop you know a typical value of how much you might spend or something like that so it could be it's very useful when the data is closely gr grouped around itself when there's not really any outliers involved in the data so everyone's spending in around the same the mean will be a very good data average to use okay that's averages i hope you found that useful